We've got an upcoming hyped NFT mint. The dupe vote is live and you must claim your active staking rewards. Plus plenty of other news, including a token that I'm very bullish on. And I'll tell you all that today. It's the 2nd of August. Let's dive in. Bitcoin, nothing's happened. ETH slightly down. Our precious salami, we're falling. Let's have a look and see what TraderCos thinks as a, a form of support. So firstly, this is TraderCos's viewpoint on BTC. So he did fine. And now he thinks this can come up to this point here, but maybe here. Of course, not financial advice. But if you are day trading, maybe consider this thesis. I'm not day trading or doing anything like that. But essentially, I can I can foresee a short kind of a jump up here and then maybe here and then back down again, potentially. This has been echoed across multiple people. And of course, it either goes up or it goes down, right? If BTC can get daily closes above 64K, then it favors bouncing back to 66. However, that's not a, a massive jump. So unless you're going with leverage, which I don't suggest, it's probably not worth the risk. Just put it on your radar. What I do want to point out, though, is when you see these things and there's no clear up or down, just have a look. Just look, have a look at the Bitcoin Relative Strength Index. And if we have a look, this is the months until the next halvening. 2017, we saw this and then papa. We saw this and then papa. So I'm not worried. Just takes a few more months to really get going. But today, let's thank Michael Saylor, Michael Savior, who is trying to buy $2 billion more of BTC. This will all be linked below, of course. But this is from uh, his company, MicroStrategy, which is a public company. And they deal in software. But I think all they're going to have in the near future is just Bitcoin. That's going to be their product market fit. Now back to Trader Cause for some Sol news. So actually think there's a decent chance Sol catches a bid here in this daily level, loses and all eyes go to the quarterly open. So here, this is where I had I had some things set at like 150, which is a little bit lower. It just says bids. Uh, you may want to leave them there. You may want to set something down here. You may even want to put some stink bids down here, just in case. We're still going to be up and down, up and down, excited and euphoric and then scared as per normal for a few more months. I'm hoping by breakpoint things start to look and, and look a little bit different. It's that cool guy. Is it someone worth following? Doesn't have a lot of followers, doesn't have a lot of traction, but does like decent like notes on different things relating to CPI and meetings and all this stuff that's a little bit boring. But his thesis... It's boring, but valuable, right? It's not engaging. Year, uh, 155 and then 135, if we get lucky. That's his bid level right now for Seoul coming down. Now, away from the price news, because ultimately, I think most people, like 99% of people will outperform with just a dollar cost average and then taking profits at higher levels with a token that has a lot of conviction. Let's move on to this. So Joe McCann says, Solana flips Ethereum in monthly DEX volume for the first time and just a friendly reminder, Solana's market cap is one-fifth of ETHs. Now, of course, if you lay, if you get all the EVMs and bundle them up together, then yeah, we haven't. However, this is still this is still absolutely amazing. Solana's doing really, really well. It's just easy for people to jump into that chain. That's the major takeaway. Next bit news, Jupiter. So the supply reduction proposal is alive. This is a no-brainer. The vote is yes. We want the supply to go from 10 billion down to 7 billion. But if you want to do your own research, click on this. You should do your own research. And just remember, most importantly, is just vote. If you don't want to vote for or against, then vote abstain. That way you're still getting active staking rewards. You're still being active in the DAO. But ultimately, it doesn't take long to go through this proposal. This is the, the gist of it. I don't know who did this. It was given to me by Organized General and it came from someone else in Discord. Thanks to whoever did it. But this is how the token allocation looks in terms of decreasing who gets what. Just remember, there's a 30% reduction from the team. There's also a 30% reduction from the community. We're not going to really worry too much about this. So the people that will be a little bit upset are those that don't already have dupe or haven't got any conviction in dupe. And those people have had time to, to go and buy dupe. I mean, I don't have as much dupe as I want, but I'm okay with that. Subsequent dupe annuaries, this is what's decreasing. Decreasing by 900,000 and community reserves decreasing significantly here. 40% uh, and then community needs decreasing by 100%. But all in all, it's just a 30% reduction. 5 billion, 5 billion, half, half. And it's a, it's a, it's a yes vote for sure. This burn will take place over six months. So it's not going to just be one big ass burn. Don't know why it's like that. That's a little bit strange, but it is what it is. Now, Jupiter is having some issues with some ISPs. 
So if it's crashing, go and use a desktop device or use a VPN. I use Proton and Nord. If I have any referral links, I'll put them below. I use whatever one. I, they're paid subscriptions. I think everyone needs a VPN in crypto. Vibu said that T-Mobile just disappeared due and last week they disappeared drip. So this is like crypto censorship. And if you're using T-Mobile, change. Just rubbish. Just absolutely rubbish. I don't know if uh, why they're doing it. I don't care, but just just rubbish. Now, Infinex. If you didn't win a patron NFT during Crate Run, we've launched Path to Patron, a two-week campaign with Coinvise, and it's until August 16th, you win one of two NFTs and two times 3,000 OP tokens. So 3,000 OP tokens, I don't know what uh, Optimism government tokens trading at, probably over a dollar. We'll have a quick look. Optimism, $1.54. Definitely worth it. Go and join now. And I've never heard of Coinvise, but go and give it a go. Now, I don't think there's going to be an over farming on this. So I think it will be worthwhile. The other thing is I'm still getting some comments on why I'm bullish on Infinex. I think people sometimes miss the long-term vibe as opposed to just short-term. Obviously, we'd all like a situation where we go into a protocol, they airdrop us like $20,000, we sell it for Sol and we're happy. How is that sustainable? It isn't, right? There's some things that have product market fit, proper product market fit, and it'll take a little bit of time to build out. Infinex is one of those. Not everything they've done is, is right, right? I think there could be more people in the crate run challenge. Maybe instead of having 200 sold prize going out, there could have been 20 times 10 sold prizes. They make their own decisions. They're, they're their own team. They're just my viewpoints. But in general, Infinex has a crazy amount of product market fit. And one, having one of these patron entities, ideally for free, would be worth it. Because otherwise, like a $5,000 mint price. And I'm sure they'll have demand. This will do well. You can record this clip and play it back to me a year from now. I'm, I'm very sure I will be right on this. Having said that, don't invest whatever you're not prepared to lose. And I can do more research on this when more information comes out. But I like it. Ah, and also for full transparency, not sponsored here. These are my own views. This is my own thesis. And I didn't win anything from Crate Run with my tutorial account, which people were referred to, or my other account with my main like stash. I won nothing. I just won boosts that gave me nothing. And I'm okay with that. I am okay. Let's get into the next bit of news. Sanctum. No cloud left behind. Remember that is that is their slogan. Dupes was like no dupe cap. No cat left behind. There's no cloud. So you got two things. If you did some earnestness, if you did some tweeting, if you did some helpful, if you did a video, if you gave some decent feedback, go and link that and fill out this form. There is a 0.1 soul deposit fee to deter spammers it's refundable unless the submission is deemed malicious and if you were sibled or if you if they deemed you a sibyl you can also go and fill out that form and submissions will close on the 31st of august sanctum has so much product market fit i know their airdrop campaign didn't like it didn't work out perfectly and i get that i i agree and i've said it i've said that but they're still trying to reward the people that are there that want to actually talk about sanctum refer people and move on now i did fine with sanctum so like i did fine however my actual referral bonus was so minimal and i definitely disagree with that my earnestness was fine and i so i can understand why people are a little bit upset now now is your time to actually go and fill out these forms you've got a month to to get into it and just for full context i haven't sold any of my cloud you can go and claim all of your cloud by the way um but not the earnestness amount yet next bit of news greed academy is now live of course, I want you to stake with validate.com, but you can go and allocate stake to different validators. But the majority, I would love for it to be with validate.com. Anyway, if you went and locked up some soul, then you can go and do these lessons. You've got 13 days, five hours, go do the lesson, and then there'll be another lesson, another lesson, and so on and so on. And then you'll get more rewards come breakpoint. So maybe you can make it a breakpoint, have a little bit of extra spending money because Singapore is expensive. Noon has a great post on JLP and FLP. So what is the what is the token that I said I'm very bullish on? It's JLP. JLP, I've researched it properly. There's a video coming out probably today on Jupiter's ecosystem channel all about JLP. And then I'm going to show you in future tu tutorials, which I'll link every time, even though they'll be on that channel, I'll link to on how you can leverage up your JLP. And I swear pretty much I'm just most of my like 50% of my funds will go into Seoul, maybe 40% will go into JLP, and then 10% will go into meme coinery. That's for now. These things can change in the future. And nothing meme coinery now, just I want that kind of allocation. So I'm not going to tell you all about JLP in this video because you can go and watch that video and learn all about it. But basically, it's an index token of these, right? Seoul, ETH, Wrapped BTC. Get 75% of all of the 
dupes perps dex fees they've generated over 100 million in fees the assets under management is 576 million dollars and 75 million dollars plus of fees have been added to that that's absolutely stupid it's stupid the apy can jump up it can go down of course and this is from coin gecko but it launched in november and it's just been it straight up now if you bought soul in november yes you'll be up more but if you bought soul when soul hit 200 dollars, you wouldn't be right so this gives you this is this is a really good just index fund it's so really good it's just that doesn't even make sense it's so good now the flp token is the same kind of token but from flash trade it doesn't have in integration with things like Azure Australia Finance, not yet. Uh, it doesn't have integration with Community Finance and it doesn't have integration with NX Finance. These are things that I will be showing you how to leverage up those positions on the Jupe channel. However, it still prints. Uh, as So you've got four different ones over there. USDC, Sol, BTC, ETH, FLP number two, USDC, and then three and then four. If we have a look at the prices, pool one, fine, I'm down. Pool two, not worth, not worth the effort. Pool number three, not worth the effort because it has uh, Pith and W and they are just not performing well. If you put in now though, maybe they'll start to perform well, but they haven't been. They did, W never did, Pith did, and now it's down significantly. And the final one is pool four. I wouldn't put much into this because it's bonk and USDC. A 63% return is fine. It is fine but Bonk is probably going to do a lot better than 63%, not financial advice. Anyway, JLP, love it. Next bit of news, if you're a developer and you want to make something cool, there's 40, 40K in PYUSD rewards for this hackathon. These prizes are low, very low, which is fine, but also means that you're not going to have a whole lot of builders go with really cool stuff. So if you go and if you can integrate PYUSD in some form, payments, commerce, DeFi trading, gaming, remittance and cross-border transactions, then you could go and win. It'd be worthwhile. Um, begins August 12th, ends September 16th, and judging window is here. Now I want to talk quickly about Debridge Finance and I'm still waiting for more information. So this is just keeping it on your radar. But sadly, I don't think Debridge is going to do an amazing token drop. So there's a, a few things I want to go over here. One is they're selling 2% of the total supply via the LFG vault. So we can see if this gets updated, but that's not enough of a supply to really jump out. With my chat with Kane from Infinex, and I am going to reference this quite a bit because the guy is worth a lot of money, has built fantastic stuff, and he knows his stuff. And he said, like, you need, I think, I have to re-watch that section, but like 30 to 50% of all the tokens to actually be on the market to receive some sort of price discovery. Maybe it goes down, maybe it goes up, but at least, you know, the community is invested. This 2% seems very strange. Now, of course, there'll be an airdrop as well, and maybe there's going to be something else that's happening, but just 2% seems too small. I don't understand. This sort of stuff was done in the previous cycle, and things would pump up, and then once they pumped up, they would crash. However, it hasn't worked like this. So as an example, GMRX, they had a really low float predatory tokenomics, which I didn't realize until they were kind of released, and it didn't do well. And I and I think we can go through a lot of things with tokenomics, and they're not going to do well. This is one of the reasons why meme coins do well, because it's just straight off the bat, it's a fully diluted valuation. So as long as the dev wallets don't hold too many tokens, it they do well. Cloud, as an example, they had they basically put on 200 million Cloud was unlocked on launch, LFG and airdrop. Of course, a lot of that's still in vesting contracts for both. So somewhat accurate. Uh, and we can see this here, 1 billion supply, 100 million tokens in the pool. Cloud, by the way, essentially the, the most expensive price you would have paid for it was about 32 cents. Don't worry about this because this related to the vault and it gave you an average price. So now we're down to 27s. Cloud's doing very well considering the FUD. Another example is Uprock and Uprock here they didn't have the best launch. I still think this token will be fine as soon as they turn on revenue sharing, of course. The price is very low, uh, very, very low, but they still put in 10%. So I just don't like the fact that Deepbridge is only putting in 2%. Now the hyped NFT news. So community pre-sales for Superbase start tomorrow. If you want to participate, make sure to pay attention to your community announcements. So what we're talking about here is like normally like NFT communities, like if you're in the DJ Apes, uh, Mad Lads, maybe Asset Dash, or Famous Foxes, all of these ones, right? You may get an allocation for Superbase. Now it has hype, but I reached out to Jakey in DMs 
Didn't get a reply. So I have no information on Superbased. So I can't say, like, all I can tell you is this. It's a degenerate media company. The official mint is coming up in six days. This is what I mean. It's got plenty of hype. Uh, and what they did is they had a form. And then these went out, which, of course, added a little bit more uh, attention. 50,000 submissions. This form is now closed, by the way. So if you come here, the form is now closed. And I didn't see it. So I didn't tell you about it. Uh, but as you can see, there's some attention on the timeline. Having said that, like with NFTs, you put money into NFTs. If you're going to put in soul, you want that soul value to increase. Otherwise, you want to try and have opportunities that will increase your portfolio from an NFT. I think we've passed the days of just straight IP plays. If you like some art, you might want to get art if you've got a decent bag of money. But we're really about growing our bags. Now, Superbase does not have a Discord. Uh, I have no information on it other than the fact that it's got a little bit of hype. Will I be minting? I have no idea. Don't even know how to get the pre-sale other than by watching your community. But just keep an eye on that. The next bit of news is Bonk Live. Today, 6 p.m. UTC, there'll be a space discussing Bonk Live. All the aspects from the application process, voting procedures, to the rewards. So I hope people are actually going to bonkrewards.com and staking their bonk. If you do that, then you will be able to vote and potentially get some decent rewards. And maybe some of the things that launch with them will do really, really well, hopefully. Now let's move on to the actionables. So the dupe supply reduction vote is live 1st of August to the 4th of August. Get amongst it, please do. Deadline to claim your dupes ASR is August 6, 1 p.m. UTC. If you do not claim it, then you miss out. There's hundreds or thousands of dollars of value sitting there. Do it today. Don't let me have to remind you tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. Take part in Infinex's path to patron. If you don't see the value, let's not go with trust me, bro. Let's just go with I think it's worth your time. Submit a form and sanctum if you're marked as a Sybil or for earnestness. DCA soul on dupe.ag and go and stake it with validate.com as always. You can also go and set some limit orders at lower amounts with dupe.ag or phoenix.trade or do it in your Soulflare mo mobile wallet as well. Take part in greed at lesson number one as well. And the airdrop actionables. So Cloud INF Meteor LP on Camino earning met points. It's still going decently. Like INF is fine. Cloud hasn't dropped very much. I think it's still worth it for sure. Sign up to cube.exchange and complete quests. I will have that tutorial next week, I promise. Stake bonk with bonkrewards.com. There's so much stuff happening in the Bonk ecosystem. It's going to take me days and days to try and get it all out. And I need to create a separate calendar on Bonk Rewards. And also check out Noon's VSOL guide and look into Superbase. Not financial advice, but just check into the communities that you're in in case there's a pre-sale allocation and maybe it interests you. Also, we have a Solana crypto calendar. So there's a lot of stuff in here. We're putting in more and more stuff. There's some stuff all the way down into September, of course. But just have a look in here to see whatever has value to you. And just check out the reminders. The reminders are very important. If I buy soul or whatever, if I buy something, I'll put it in here as well. But just make sure you bookmark this. I'm sure this will come in lots of use. That's all for today. Enjoy the weekend. Catch you in the next video.